Welcome back to our channel, I guess you could say. I never yeah. I never really know what to say to start this. Like, I don't know. Um, so anyway, if you didn't watch last week, we, uh, we were just talking about how we were going to go on here and be answering viewers' questions. Um, if you're new, welcome. My name's Mariah. And I'm Spence. And that's my husband, Spencer. We're a real estate team here in Oregon. And um, I used to upload a lot on this channel and... We'll, haven't we kind of stopped for a while and um moral of the story is we still get a lot of questions from you guys so we thought we will sit down once a week and pick just a few questions to go through um take as long as it takes us so some of the videos might be a little longer than others just depends on but no one's really cool though yes what's up is all the questions that you guys ask, we've already had. Maybe we're having right now. So there's yeah. never a dumb comment, dumb yeah. question you've asked us, whether it's yeah. an email, whether it's in the comments below. And um, that's kind of like refreshing, though. It keeps us as like a, a, a fresh perspective of real estate. Yeah. We talked about it when we were going through a home sale of ourselves, of ourselves. Yeah, <laughs> of our sales. A sales. It a sounded sales? like a like an accent. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, no, like when we were selling our own personal home and purchasing another property, like there's always a refreshment there that just happens with real estate because for us as brokers, like you as a broker can get tunnel visioned very easily. Yeah. And what you need to realize is what are you good at and stick to those goals that you make and that's going to make you become a successful agent. 20% of the agents do 80% of the business. So let it be you. That's very true. Um, yeah, so we, we, we're both very, we're passionate about real estate. We love what we do. We love chatting with other agents and especially agents like you watching from other parts of the country and even the world. That's like, we love it. So anyway, um, we will be answering your questions today. And before we get into that, I just wanted to touch on a topic real quick that I think is very, um, relevant and important and something that we're I mean, I feel like we're always trying to improve on this and work on this, but, um, I was on a zoom call the other week with a couple of other agents from both from different parts of the country. And a topic came up that was basically talking about like how things that we're each doing to run our business to where our business isn't running us. Because I can think back to times when I was a newer agent or not even that new, but when I was like newer to getting a lot of clients, like when mm -hmm. I first started like getting a lot of momentum and having a lot of deals going and all of that. And it can be really overwhelming. And I remember many, many times when I would be on vacation and walking through like a new town and I didn't see anything because I'm glued to my phone the entire time. And basically my business was running me. So I feel like that's something that, if you're not intentional about the way that you run your business, yeah. it can, it'll go there. That's what's going to happen. 100%. And if you are intentional and I feel like we have definitely, like I said, we're still working on this and we're not perfect, but we have <laughs> definitely come to a place where it does not feel like that anymore whatsoever. And it's been through just being intentional and I don't know having no that's really good though, because th doing things a certain way. I, I realized that this was happening to me. I'm just going off yeah. of my personal experiences Yeah, when I always had like six or more deals happening at oh. the same time. So you're like, how or what the heck do I not do? That, because yeah. there's a never ending nagging thought, whether you forgot to do an email, whether you forgot to reply to a text, whether you forgot to schedule an inspection. Mm -hmm. It's as simple as that, though, that you're like, I could never do that. Well, there there could be a time when you have too much going on. Yeah. absolutely too much going on and maybe your personality has never been to put it in writing i used to literally be driving to my car and i would just rethink business meetings that i had just been mm. in and think of all the knowledge that i had forgotten because i was a terrible student during that meeting and i didn't put it in writing and i just thought of all the other agents they had their pen and notepads out mm. and they're putting it in writing nowadays we got our computers that's yeah. what i was doing in school putting it in writing so why would it change now yeah. Why good. would it change? Be just because I feel I'm hitting a uh, well of success yeah. working these deals. Why would my lifestyle change, not benefiting but hurting my business? Right. You know. 
I feel like it, it can very easily, yeah, like you said, when you have like all these deals going on, like get overwhelming and make things feel kind of like mm-hmm. chaotic. Yeah. I know one thing that I do is um, I write down, I like, I know everyone is all about like the computers or their phones nowadays, mm-hmm. but I just like having either a whiteboard or just like physical That's paper. Yeah. And I just have to write down like each of my clients and each of my escrows and each of my, you know, listings part. Like I just have to see it in front of me. Which by the way, I, have I, to do I, that. I loved it when it you was. did that, like in our old bedroom, in oh, our old house. Yeah. Cause we just switched houses. We just transitioned like did, months ago. Huh? We bought this place like eight, nine months ago. Yeah. But we have not put the whiteboard I, back up. I think it got ruined. It got damaged or something. Yeah, we just kids. buy a new one. I mean, it's a whiteboard, but yeah, we used to have this, um, but just, a big whiteboard mm-hmm. hanging in our bedroom yep. and we would say like Spencer Mariah and it would say like each our escrows and then what our list how many like listings or buyers that. we had that month and basically for me it was really it really really helped me um meeting my goals because I could see them up in front of me so I knew like okay I already met my goals for the month or okay, I haven't like it was just very helpful seeing right. like your numbers um like up in front of you. Yeah. No, that was that's very what I helpful. think it, it was helpful. But we should, because, we should like, bring that back. We, we questioned <laughs> each other like, hey, what's happening in that transaction mm-hmm. or um have mm-hmm. you talked to him lately? Mm-hmm. Because back then especially, like real estate follow up was so important. And if you weren't following up with your current client but also your prospective client, it was yeah. never gonna happen. Yeah. That still does happen. Also because of the way we got business, we needed to follow up more. Now it's like attraction based business to where they come to us and we don't, it's different. But anyway. No, that's good um, though. Attraction based clientele. Uh, Okay. So for for me, for me, a really, really huge thing um, that's helped with like running my business and my business not running me and to just be present and I don't know. It's just been a really good thing has been like I will not, I used to just answer emails as they come in. I do not have notifications on my phone Ooh, at all. I couldn't do that. Well, I do. Everybody's if different. Okay. If there's something important that I'm waiting on that I need to have like ASAP, which isn't all the time in real estate, but if there is, then yes, that's a different story. But for the average day to day, I am not checking my emails or even texts and calls that might be a little controversial. I'm not texting, checking them all the time. Calls are a little different, but t- especially text and email. Um, I time block that. So I will even just say like, have your phone aside and then every hour go get back to everyone all at once. Otherwise you're literally on your phone all the time. And like just be, being a that. mom, I can't do that. Cause yeah. I have a kid. I want to give her my undivided attention. Like she's with me while I'm working all the time. So, so that's just for me, you're that's right. helped a lot. And a thing with like vacations too is like, letting my clients know yes. and telling them I will respond within 24 business hours for sure at the very most. And then keeping my phone like in my room even sometimes, and then just going back and checking it, getting back to everyone at once. It takes so much less time than just like doing everything at oh, once. Yeah. Like, I if, don't know that for me has helped. If you're ton, time blocking and that's ton. what you do, yes. you're a time blocker and, and you're not, good. but it's okay. We do I'm things not. differently. I, I'm a time blocker. I literally I like, I have to do things. Usually as it comes, I'm one track mind. So email, <laughs> bam, quick reply, bam, get it done. Oh, you need a question answered? Let me find it for you. Because like I look at our industry, real estate, which we all are in, right, as a service industry. Um, I shared this story a long time ago on one of our other um, shows. Hmm. But it was, it was um, if you haven't been to that page though, by the way, Real Estate with Ryan Spence. You'll yeah, find, go check it out. You'll find the story. <laughs> yeah. But um there was a Ritz Carlton representative mm. that I'm sitting in on this uh, conference meeting with, and he's talking about the service industry. Because if you ever say to Ritz Carlton, you know you're going to get good service because you get what you pay for, and sometimes, and that just really stuck with me because it was like right in the beginning of real estate mm. when I first started my journey here. Dead. And yeah. and how can I benefit my client? Because obviously, I haven't done many deals at that point. And I don't really know what I'm doing. So what am I going to be good at? And I figured the best thing and the only thing I can be good at is is service. And so servicing my client has always been one of those really big importance of mine. And I have that rule, the 24 hour rule, you know, and and that's what I I like about what you just said Mm -hmm. is if you are on vacation, you know, you're not glued to your phone on vacation. I'm not, I'm going to turn off my notifications. I might be on airplane mode a lot of the time, but I'm going to time block and maybe for an hour and a half. 
I'm going to get stuff done. And if there's a time difference, you're going to get stuff done during the time differences to where you can communicate here in the States Mm -hmm. where it's appropriate. Yeah. There's a book called um, Four Hour Work Week, and he actually talks about like not answering your email. Like it's not necessary to answer. He answers it. I think he answers it two times a week. And he says in his auto email, like, um, I, this, these are the days you can expect to hear back from me. And it just has saved so much time because we, we think like, Oh, people need, like we need to get back right away. Like they don't need access to, I don't know. That's that's just about email. That's interesting. But one thing though, if you are working, this is just a recommendation, (laughs) a little pro tip. Uh, I appreciate an auto responding email. Yeah. Like or if you aren't going to answer my email. call back for like an hour yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Give get an auto reply. Text, I get that. email. Just do something because the people just feel like you never knew they existed. Yeah. Or just no, something. It, in, communication is the most important thing in this business. I feel like whenever, yeah. whenever a transaction goes sideways or a client goes sideways. It's always due. Like it literally almost always comes down to communication from what I've heard from like other agents and experience myself and like everything. It's always like always communication, communication. You're not communicating enough. They get offended. Mm -hmm. They think you're not doing your job. Like, yeah, do, but that doesn't mean to be glued to your phone. Um, okay. So what else we got? So I had something else to say about this and now I just can't think of it. Oh man. I'm all about service. What, what I know. Ah, what was I going to say? I guess, okay, at the end of the day, I'll just say this, and then we'll get on to our viewer questions. At the end of the day... We got to get to that. I know, we will. Soon. It just comes down to, I will just say, it comes down to simplifying. So when you're new in this business... Simplifying. Simplifying, and this is like all areas of life. Um, I tried to do this, but if you're a new agent, it can seem overwhelming. There's a million and one ways to get business, and let me just tell you, they all work. They all do work. If you're consistent with them, they will all work. So choose whatever is best for you. It's okay when you're new to try them all out and find what it is that works for you. But once you find it, you don't need to be everywhere. Like for example, this is a very small, maybe dumb example of simplifying, but let's just say, um, you don't need to be on every social media platform. I think that's actually hurting you. I think you should choose one and maybe two, but I would say one that you really enjoy and are good at and get results from and get business from. And then zero in on that and forget about the rest. Like you do not need to be everywhere. You need to focus. And, and the same with, there's just so many things you can be doing in this business. And a lot of them are just time suckers and are Mm. like this. I don't know. It's very, this business is so simple. Like just get clients or have them find a way to attract them to you and then do a good job for that. Like deal with that. And that's it. Like it's so, mm-hmm. it's so simple and it doesn't have to be that time. I can't consuming. tell you the amount of new yeah. agents I see in our office, but also when I was in our office being a new agent, I'm just, I'm, I'm literally side by side with these people. Cause I did all the weekly meetings, new agents, get to know your contracts, how to set things up, all that stuff. You have no idea the conversations. Maybe you do have an idea of what's <laughs> happening right next to you. Maybe you what? are this person. What? What are you going to say? I'm curious. The amount of time wasted. Yes. Um, so building stupid stuff. Like building um, your yeah. logo, your, yeah. Um, yeah. I get it. Real estate is branding, but mm. I'm, I'm just saying like the right cover photo. There's placing so it, many stupid. Oh, things. here's a good one. Placing it perfectly yeah. on your website. <clears throat> so everybody sees it. Like if you have all the time to kill, like go kill it. Oh my gosh. But I feel like the best. If you're not getting your foot in the door, you're not doing business. The best thing that go happened to. Go get your foot in the door and go get the business. Yeah. I feel like the best thing that happened to my business was even just like becoming a mom because now I'm mm-hmm. so intentional with my time. I don't waste any time. I only do the necessary things yeah. and that's it. And I have even more. Yeah. It's just crazy. And by the, the way, way, the time you can waste. Mariah is such a good it's mom. It's wild. You're such a good mom. Oh, yeah. thank you. We just had Mother's Day. So happy yeah. Mother's Day to all you Woo-hoo. women. I'm in. Oh. <laughs> Compliment your ladies, guys. Okay. So first question. I forgot to write down who this was from. Sorry. If this was you, you don't get a shout out. <laughs> they asked, what do you do to get back in the game when business is getting slow? Why is it getting slow is the first question. Mm-hmm. It's usually because you had too many escrows and you didn't spend time prospecting because you thought you had it all. That's generally been my downfall. <laughs> You've done that? So I've done that. <laughs> I've been there, done that, still sometimes have done that. And you'll probably do it again. <laughs> but the reality is th- that question's all wrong. It's where was your time spent while you had all these escrows making you money, cash flowing? I always say I need to go late pipe. 
I need to make pipeline because that's what's going to get the pipe to my bank account so I can pay my mortgage, so I can pay my car bills, so I can buy gas right now because it's so dang expensive. Us it realtors is. are driving everywhere. True. If you don't have a fuel efficient car like me, Cadillac <laughs> Escalade 2004, living in the old days, <laughs> it gets expensive. Okay. <laughs> Lay the pipe. Okay. Don't yeah. quit prospecting. Yeah. Make so your don't goals let it happen monthly. In the first Make place. your goals <laughs> monthly. It will never happen as long as you continue the escrows. Yeah. It, like it's so simple. Just, just know, like for me, I didn't do this for years in my business until finally I found out, okay, what, what are my goals that I need to make? Like how many appointments do I need to go on clients? do I need to get each month in order to meet the goals that I want to meet. Mm-hmm. And honestly, it was way less than I thought. And it's right. so simplifies everything. Like it's so Post. easy when you actually break it down and do that. It's really not that hard to make need, good money in real estate. Do you need help making goals? It's simple. Do you it's, need help though? What do you mean? What do we usually goals? do? That's absolutely free making what goals in the beginning of the year in real estate. We meet. Uh, well, y- use your re- re- use your resources. We there have a go. great, um, our yeah. title company has someone that will come out and help you. Keep like their simple. sales lady is amazing and she'll come help with that. But like, yeah, use your resources mm-hmm. around you. But, but that's, um, that, that's what brings that's it down been though, really because she to literally yeah. has told us totally. and will tell you if you use your resources, absolutely free for you. Totally. Because the title companies want you, okay? You are at value. If you're a real estate agent, you bring them money. You bring them yeah. closings. You bring them escrows. So ask what resources they have for you, whether it's a marketing thing or how to better your Facebook or just simple things, how, how, to, how to get phone numbers, email addresses in certain scenarios or zip codes. They have all those resources. They usually want you to pay for them, but a little pro tip, do the deals, bring them the deals, and they'll be giving you them for free. Okay. Great pro tip. Mm-hmm. Um, when, when business is getting slow, I forgot what I was going to say. I had something to say to that too. What do you do when business is getting slow? What is a slow business? Wow. It's on I you. I can't believe I forgot what I was going to say. It's on you. Wait, wait, just hold on. Hold on. What do you do when business is getting slow? Go, go get a coffee. No. And get I more business. I was literally going to say something. This is aggravating was me. It, was it catchy? N- no, it wasn't catchy. It was what I do. What do I do? What do I do? Pray. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but that's not what I was gonna say. I'm, I'm really trying to help you out. I'm now. sorry. You're not. We're just going to move on. If I think of it, I'll let you know. Okay. Um, Erica Gonzalez blanking. That's her. That's her name. Asks. <laughs> Why are you laughing at someone's name? I don't know. I'm sorry. Okay. This is uncut, by the way. So <laughs> yeah, we're stuck d- with this. <sighs> okay. I'm not laughing at it. I'm just people. laughing. I'm She's just a laughing. Funny it's a funny it's a funny world out there. Okay. Um oh she asked, Do you bring your baby with you to appointments? How do you do that? What do your clients think? Well, our our baby's not really baby anymore. She used to be and She's I gonna did. be two and a half. Yeah. Her. He would bring her loved it. Which was awesome. It was very easy to bring her when she was like a younger in the car seat and baby because <laughs> she literally would just chill. Bring her in, the obviously. With you and that's it. Okay, so we would we would bring her a lot to show houses, um, depending on the client and the house and the situation. But usually, um, on listing appointments, never because that's yeah. just distracting. You're giving yeah. a presentation. That's not something you can do. I agree. But I I still she is. Um, almost two and a half now. And I still bring her with me to, um, anytime I'm at a home inspection, yeah. she usually comes with me because why, why wouldn't why she, why, what else, you know, why not? There's no Photos. reason for her not to come. It's very easy for your child to come to a home inspection. I, it, I mean, let the inspector do his job. Yeah. Um, other things like that, like a lot of the stuff we do in real estate is running errands. I, to- I bring her with me. I give her a toy to play with in the back or a little book to look at or whatever. And like, we have a DVD player. In yeah, that's car, true. So to like D- DVD, beautiful. whatever, like educational only. Yeah, <laughs> like all those things are helpful. Um, and yeah, so I don't bring her with me if I'm going to, I do a lot of virtual tours. So I show a lot of homes to clients that are like not in our state. And so that very easy to bring her to. So it just depends on the situation. Never to a listing appointment. Yeah. Everything else, usually you can make it work. If you're showing a house to a buyer and it looks like, you know, if it's vacant, it's easy. But if there's a lot of breakable things, maybe not. But, you know, I don't the know. The reality it is, depends. If, you, yeah. if you have a gut feeling and you're yeah. saying, and every scenario is different, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. each each buyer mm-hmm. is different. If 
your buyer just doesn't do kids or you're showing a million dollar properties, six plus hundred thousand dollar properties. Yeah. Odds are don't bring your kid. Yeah. But if, if you absolutely have to, I think personally it, it builds on the character of who you are, how family oriented you are. And, um, I've never once had a client look down on me for having my daughter with me. So if that makes you a little bit more comfortable, yeah. I'd say no listing appointments, but yeah, I wouldn't do listing appointments. Most of the other scenarios, yeah, bring your kid with you. Photos. A- yesterday morning. Sorry to cut you off. Yeah, it's okay. Yesterday morning, um, I have a new listing coming up, and I had listing photos first thing in the morning. Of course, I brought my daughter with me. Why mm-hmm. wouldn't I? Like, what else? You know, she, she loves it too. Like afterwards. she gets so excited. I did. I Bring got her, her the park afterwards. I got her her coffee on the way. Yeah. Like she loves looking at houses. Like she gets excited. It's mm-hmm. a new place to them. Like it's fun. And I think it's so good for them yeah. to see, see what and we like do. just learning and being involved. And in, like, I just think it's a good it thing. So that's yeah. my advice. Bring them anywhere, but listing appointments. Was that the last one? What else? we got? No. Okay. Sorry. We're cruising through these. Okay. Um, two more questions. Jesus, or hey, I'm sorry, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. What is up with you in the name today? I'm really bad at butcher. I butcher names a lot. Okay. Jesus Ordonez asks, would you say having two different YouTube channels as a real estate agent is a must or can I do a must or can I do everything on one channel? So we, we have like three YouTube channels that we're actively uploading to. I'll kind of explain real quick the reasoning yeah, the behind reasoning them. Behind I am a firm. Because there's uh, but what? the reason I'm saying explain it wisely. Yeah. Okay. Because if you're listening to this video and you yeah. don't even know about these other channels, maybe they could benefit you, or just, oh, yeah. just you don't, you don't care about them. So no need to subscribe or subscribe to them. So let Mariah go over them briefly. Yeah. Don't take an hour on them. I won't. But if you haven't ever <laughs> heard might. of them, I might go to them, see us, check it out. Okay, so first off, I just need to add, I am a firm believer that in 2022, every realtor, more realtors are starting to, it's becoming very saturated, but every realtor, but also every business, like every business needs a YouTube channel now, day and age. Like it is a must, best thing for your business ever. Okay, so now that I've said that, um, okay, so I'll just explain what we do. Um, we have this channel. This is directed toward other real estate agents, Realtors. Real, realtors, and we keep this like realtor specific. We've had a lot of referrals over the years from other agents in other parts of the country sent to us through doing these videos. Um, we genuinely, like I said at the beginning, we genuinely love chatting with realtors and talking about real estate, but it is a really great added perk, the referrals. So if that's you, by the way, and you're a realtor in another another state and you have a client relocating to Oregon, send them our way. We'd love to help and give you a referral fee. But with that being said, um, so that is one channel. We keep it this channel. towards agents. This one you're listening on right now. Hello. Um, and then we have another one called Home with Mariah Vetris Crawford. And I basically just talk about like our area, where we live, market updates. Na- I drive through neighborhoods, neighborhood tours, and we get, that's where our relocation clients come from. Um, also on that channel, I make a lot of videos answering buyer and seller questions that I'm asked commonly because a lot of our clients come from there. Our clients are also seeing those videos and it saves me a lot of explaining because there's a lot of things that you have to explain as an agent or you should. And I just like my clients being educated up front because I believe it makes things go very smoothly. Mm -hmm. So that's the second one. And then the third one is, um, real estate with Mariah and Spence where it's a little bit it's more, it's kind of everything. We do videos sometimes towards everything agents, but we just talk about buyers and sellers, everything, I our life as realtors, whatever. If you want a whatever. good podcast to listen yeah. to real estate wise, yes. especially now that we're doing a lot of things in home, yeah. um, that, that one's just a good all around podcast to subscribe to and listen to weekly. Yeah. If you're it, in the real estate business, real estate market, it doesn't have to be for Salem. It could be just yeah. agents. Hey, what should I do? Hey, what's Salem Morgan like? Hey, what's happening in our lives? That's the one you want to listen to. And, and the reason why we keep them all compartmentalized like that is because I don't necessarily like on this channel, I used to talk a lot about for sale by owners. I don't necessarily want the prospect I'm calling to see the script that I'm talking about. Not right. that it would be a bad thing, but it's not really that what we're going for. So that's kind of my advice. I've seen agents put them all on the same one and it's fine. Do whatever you think is best. Well, guys, um, yeah. it looks like the video yeah. has ended and yes. we have ran out of storage and memory. We're working <laughs> on a USD or a USB card, whatever those are called. We're so 
flirting. I'm sorry. We're going to cut the show, uh, yeah. show up a little bit early, though. That's okay. I think okay. that's our last question of yeah, this that, week. That's our last question. We'll, you know, answer more questions next week. Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm having a great time doing this. If you yeah. guys like it, give us some comments, give us mm-hmm. some feedbacks. And mm-hmm. obviously, if you haven't already subscribed or given us a thumbs up on this channel, please do so. It really gives us encouragement. As you guys know, in real estate, it's really important. Doing all this prospecting, you need the encouragement. Yes. Um, all right. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you next week. Thank you.